And next up is the lead screw, and you can see that I'm going to be using the Z motor that has an integrated lead screw, and we're also going to be installing this piece here into it. I like to use a super lube here. This is great for just using on lead screws, and you don't have to use a lot. You just put a little bit on here. That's all there is to it. Just kind of rub it in there real good. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my M3x8s out, and I've got the part oriented how I want. You can orient yours pretty much any way. It doesn't matter. And now I'll take my M3 by 8 screws and I'll just go ahead and snug them into the three spots. And I'm going to install this loosely. I'm going to flip over everything so I can get to it. And I'm going to go ahead and use two M3 8s to connect this into here, into these preloaded nuts. In order to get this to screw down, you are going to have to twist it in a little bit and raise up the bed as needed. Um, the other thing you're going to want to double check, there's two, there are also two screws in here. Make sure you can get to them um, in this extrusion here before you secure everything down. Okay, I've got mine aligned pretty good. Now I'm going to use some m 3 by 8 and just uh, put them in kind of loosely based on the manual. Okay, there's one. Now you want to make sure that's centered, roughly centered in between the extrusion here. So I'm going to loosen these up a little bit just to let it float for now. Make sure I can move it. Yep. Okay, so that can adjust. Okay, and before I tighten those back ones down, I'm going to insert these in here. I'm going to rotate around so I can get to it easily. This can be a little tricky, but if you just kind of hold that on the end, you should be good. Maybe helpful to use a ball joint driver here to get a little bit easier access to twist that screw. So I'll switch over. Since it is at a slight angle, you don't want those going in crooked. And again, make sure these are lined up right in the center of those extrusions. Mine are. Mine look pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and get this all tightened up. And then just go ahead and tighten up those, those original screws now that you're in position. Alright, so I've got those in, and now we're going to put in the uh, back, anti-backlash nut. Okay, now that I've got everything lined up, I'm going to add the anti-backlash nut. In order to do that, though, I have to unscrew this stuff. Now, it is possible to hold that and put it all in at once, but that's a little bit tougher to do. So I've loosened that one up. I'm just going to end up backing this right back out. So now I should be able to pop these out and then lift it. Okay, so I've got everything out. And now I'm going to come back here and slowly untwist this. And this is the trick with the anti-backlash nut. So it does take a little bit of maneuvering. So it's going to go in like that for mine. Yours could be rotated potentially, but I think they're all going to be like that. Now you want to keep some good pressure on it. So see how I've got that? I'm holding it. Now I'm just going to twist it right back into place. So now you can go ahead and get everything tightened back up again. Okay, I just went ahead and put these screws back in. I'm going to flip her over and get these uh, screws here on the bottom that face in the extrusion. Get those nice and tight. You don't want this moving around on you. Okay, now that we've done that, the manual just wants you to kind of test this manually up and down, make sure that it's real smooth and you don't have any binding. So we're just going to go ahead and check that real quick. You want to go all the way down and all the way up. And there really shouldn't be any surprises here if you are nice and centered. But if you feel any kind of binding at all, you may need to make some adjustments. Yeah, mine feels really good. I don't, I'm not feeling any binding so far. Better to test now though and get the mechanical issues ironed out than to wait until later. So what you want to do is remove the metal piece. Um, sometimes there's a little piece here. I've already removed it. 
but uh, you can see here's one that doesn't have it. So you'll just kind of pinch this in to pull it out. It's pretty easy to do. So you want it just like this, and then um, you're gonna use your threaded screws, M2 by 10s, and we'll go ahead and just put those in here. I'll get one started, and then I'm gonna go ahead and sink it right into the plastic. Okay, so now I've got it in there. Just gonna tighten it up. Make sure your switch is towards the outside edge. 